Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be having a demo by using Zap application for finding vulnerabilities and have a look how can a pen tester use this application for finding vulnerabilities in daily life. So, for the testing purpose, I have already set up the proxy to the Zap application and we will be using this test website for finding the access vulnerability okay so let me refresh the link so that we can get the website domain inside this app application so you can find we have already got this uh, domain okay for quick or i can say i want to test this application in offensive manner i want different parameters uh, available inside the URL to test for the access vulnerability okay so to get these uh, different type of uh, parameters available uh, in this application what I will do I will use the spider option available inside this app to spider this domain I will simply right click on this one and inside the attack you will find the attack on the top and inside the attack you will find the spider option just click on the spider and a box will be pop up inside the advanced you will find uh, the different type of options you can select like uh, how much depth of crawl you want by default it is set to file i so I'm not changing anything here and simply starting the scanning okay so I will click on the start scan and you can see a tab has been added which is spider okay and you can see the different type of links which are available inside the web application are getting listed over here As the web, web application is for testing purpose, uh, our spidering has been finished in no time. Okay. Well, it depends on the uh, how how much big is the website you are testing. Okay, how much domains are there? Based on that, the spidering time will be uh, depend. Okay. So to find the uh, different type of uh, parameters. Uh, the option is available here what I will do I will click on the view and uh, I will click on show all tabs you can see different type of tabs are added from the tabs you will find the option params now I like this option personally because it uh, lists out to all the parameters which uh, have it uh, it has found inside the web application okay so now here we have only one domain so you can see here we have option for only one domain but uh, if you have a multiple domain you can select it from here okay so as we have only one option we will be selecting this domain and you can see these are all the different type of parameters which are found by spidering the web application there are different types the form I think these form types are for the post request okay and you will find different type of uh, types like URL header URL uh, is for the get request so you can find uh, find if we have got uh, different type of uh, URL parameters okay, artist get file p pick and so on so what I will do I will test one of this parameter let me test for the this one which is p if you click on this one and right click and select the search what it will do it will show you the uh, get request which contains this parameter okay so i want to test this uh, parameter for the accesses so i want to uh, inject to my payload inside the 
parameter okay so what i will do i will simply right click and i will send this request to the editor so this is the editor okay and i will simply replace the value of the of parameter p and let me type here batman okay and click on send so as you can see in inside the response our uh, value which is the batman is reflecting inside the response okay now here the response is not a big one okay so you can uh, easily find out the uh, your payload reflecting uh, reflecting inside the response but uh, let us consider that uh, there is a big response and you want to find your payload so you can find it easily by simply right click here and you will find the second option that is find you can simply fi find your payload that is batman and click on find and it will highlight the payload okay so what i will do i know that my payload is getting uh, executed uh, it's getting on the response side so what i will do i will simply inject the xss script okay alert on script and i will click on send so you can see our script is getting executed successfully now i want to see this uh, uh, get request on my browser so i will simply right click and you will find the option open url in browser so here is here are the different type of browsers option available so my browser is firefox and i will click on the firefox let's see our uh, payload is getting executed or not yes so you can see our script payload has been executed successfully and we have successfully found an xss vulnerability so in this way you can use the spider function okay to spider the web application you can use the params for finding different type of parameters easily you can you can select different type of domains here see you can have uh, there are three type of domains now okay you can simply select the which domains you are focusing on and uh, you can find the parameters uh, related to that specific domain 